Of all the Friends characters, I always felt that Joy was the one with the most potential and the least utilized, probably the kindest guy in the whole show. Hello humans of the universe, heroes, villains, and everything in between, I'm Lot Pokemon, and today we are going to be looking at the simple life of Joey Tribbiani, one of the most beloved Friends characters for his charm, stupidity, and more. So when we start the show, Joey is a struggling actor doing small plays that get horrible ratings by critics. So the only difference between him and a successful actor is the fact that he's doing shitty plays and not shitty million dollar movies. Boop boop. <laughs> that was a stupid joke. Anyways, he lives in he lives with Chandler in the apartment across the hall from Monica and Rachel. Let's get this started. I will split this up into main categories. The first one being her uh, his upbringing, his story in the show, his personality, and at the end maybe some fun facts in between. Youth. Joey is the only son in an eight-kid household in Queens. He has seven sisters. He is the oldest, being the reason why his parents got married. His parents are married for all ten seasons of the show. His father is cheating on his mother, and she knows about it. Huh. <laughs> Ma, what are you doing here? I came to give you this. And this! Ow! Big ring! Why did you have to fill your father's head with all that garbage about making things right? <laughs> things were fine the way they were. There's chicken in there, put it away. <laughs> For God's sake, Joey. Really. Hold on. You, you knew? Of course I knew. What do you think? Your father is no James Bond. You should have heard some of his cover stories. I'm sleeping over at my accountants. I mean, what is that? Please. So then, how could you, I mean, how could you? Do you what? remember how your father used to be? Always yelling, always yelling. Nothing made him happy, nothing made him happy, nothing. Not that wood shop, not those stupid little ships in the bottle, nothing. Now he's happy. I mean, it's nice. He has a hobby. <laughs> Ma, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and what about you? Me? I'm fine. Look, honey, in an ideal world, there'd be no her, and your father would look like Sting. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. Ever since that poodle stuffer came along, he's been so ashamed of himself that he's been attentive, he's been more loving. It's like every day's our anniversary. I'm happy for you. Well, don't be. I mean, because now everything's screwed up. I just want it the way it was. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just did what I thought you'd want. Oh, I know you did, Cookie. Oh, I know you did. So tell me, did you see her? Yeah. Hmm. You're 10 times prettier than she is. That's sweet. <laughs> Could I take her? With this ring, no contest. <laughs> we don't know much else about his childhood, and we know that he had a very handsy tailor. He's a sports fan, being known to go to basketball games and hockey games with Chandler and Ross. He doesn't have any past connections to any of the other friends. Unlike the other characters, him and Phoebe are the only ones with no previous connections. Story in the show Joey has been in the show since the start, being one of the main six characters. So Joey has very few main story arcs. He probably has the least stories centering around him. And when they are, other things are going on with other characters. He has a girlfriend and Chandler falls in love with her and there's a conversation here that shows Joey's level of friendship and how much he values trust. I'll play them for you so you can see for yourself. Hey. Hey. Sambuca margarita? <laughs> is that a real thing? Well, we only had Sambuca, so it is now. Listen, uh, Joe, I, I need to... I need to talk to you about something. What's up? It's it's about Kathy. Oh, uh, I like her. I like her a lot, actually. You do? 
Yeah. Well, your timing couldn't be better. She's not my girlfriend anymore. What? Yeah, she broke up with me. Oh, uh, when? Just now, after acting class. At first, I thought she was doing some kind of scene. That's why I let people watch. <laughs> oh, man, I am so sorry. Are you, are, are you okay? I've been better, yeah, but I'm all right. So you like her, huh? Yes, but I, I, I don't have to. No, 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 it's, uh, it's okay. Yeah? Yeah. You know why? Because you came to me first. <laughs> well, I thought that would be the best thing to do. <laughs> but hey, listen, just so you know, you might have your work cut out for you, because when I talk to her, I kind of got the feeling she's into some other guy, so. <clears throat> See, uh, that's, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. I, th I think I know who the other guy is. Who? Oh. Oh, it's me. I'm the other guy. What? Yeah, I mean, when you were late last night, Kathy and I got to talking, and one thing led to another, and... And what? Did you sleep with her? No, 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 I just kissed her. What? That's even worse. <laughs> How is that worse? I don't know, but it's the same. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I could do. I think I'm in love with her. Who cares? You went behind my back? I would never do that to you. You're right. I have no excuses. I was totally over the line. Over the line? You, you, you're, you're so far past the line that you can't even see the line. The line is a dot to you. Yes. Yes, right. And I feel horrible. You have to believe me. Oh, my God. Is that why you bought all this stuff? Well, you know what? I will not watch your TV. I will not listen to your stereo. And there's a cinnamon raisin loaf in the new bread maker that I'm not going to eat. You know why? Probably because... Because it's all tainted with your betrayal. From now on, this apartment is empty to me. I'm not happy about you either. <laughs> oh, and just so you know, I made that bread for you. And this also proves how good of a friend Joey is because even when Chandler betrays him, he still forgives him. Probably his first big arc was when he got the lead male role for a play. His first big love interest, unfortunately, she ends up leaving for a bigger part somewhere else, which is what often happens with his love interests. Like when Susan Sarandon was in the show, she left off for Mexico. So here's what you all have been waiting for, Dr. Drake Ramon, his first TV role. Yes, he did have to sleep with the casting director for the part. Oh, honey, give me a break, will you? Oh, oh, well, I'll talk to you later. Well, there's my favorite client. So tell me, darling, how was the audition? Well, I think it went pretty well. I, I got a call back for Thursday. Joe, have you ever seen me ecstatic? No. Oh. Well, here it is. <laughs> OK, uh, listen. <laughs> There's something I want to talk to you about. The network casting lady. Oh, isn't Lori a doll? Oh, yeah, yeah, she was great, but I kind of got the feeling that she was sort of coming on to me. And I definitely would get the part if I would have, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have sent a little general in. Oh. <laughs> I see. I'm just going to put in a call here, and we'll find out what's going on and straighten it out. Yeah, hi. Lori, please. <laughs> hi, darling. So how about Joey Tribbiani for the part of the cab driver? Isn't he terrific? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. OK, doll, talk to you later. Yeah, you're going to have to sleep with her. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so I'm guessing you didn't get the part or uh, Italy called and said it was hungry? <laughs> well, the part's mine if I want it. Oh, my God. Yeah, if I'm willing to sleep with the casting lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ten years I've been waiting for a break like this, Chandler. 
10 years. I mean, days of our lives. That's actually on television. <laughs> well, so what are you gonna do? I guess I could sleep with her, I mean. But how can I do that? Well, I, I've got a pop-up book that told me everything I need to know. <laughs> I've never slept with someone for a part. Well, is she? <laughs> Sorry. Is she good looking? Yeah. She's totally good looking. I mean, if I met her in a bar or something, I'd be buying her breakfast. <laughs> you know, after having slept with her. You know, maybe this isn't such a big deal, you know? I mean, the way that I see it is you get a great job and you get to have sex. You know, I mean, throw in a tree and a fat guy and you've got Christmas. I just, I just don't think that I want it that way, though, you know? I mean, let's say I do make it, all right? I'm always gonna look back and wonder if it was because of my talent or because of, you know, the little general. Didn't you used to call it the little major? Yeah, but after Denise DeMarco, I had to promote it. Did Joey say what he was gonna do when he left? No. I don't even think he knew. Hey, would you sleep with somebody to get a great job? I don't know. Who would I have to sleep with? Me. <laughs> Why would I have to sleep with you? It's my game. You want the job or not? Hi, I'll be ready in just a second. Uh, could I talk to you a minute? Sure. What happened? Well, we, we kind of broke up. Oh. Does anybody want these? Hey. Hey! hey. Oh, how'd the callback go? Oh, it was unbelievable. I walked in there, and she was all over me. So what'd you do? Well, I couldn't do it. I told her I didn't want to get the part that way. Good for you. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But then after I left her office, she caught up with me at the elevator and offered me an even bigger part. So, and? So? You are now looking at Dr. Drake Ramore, neurosurgeon recurring in at least four episodes! <laughs> All right, I gotta go shower. But, okay, there's no real upside, except he's now on TV. He was offered the part of a taxi driver in Days of Our Lives, and then the lady offered him a bigger role in exchange for sex. He then was killed off for saying something stupid in an interview. He later gets his own show, Mac and Cheese. At this time, he's offered his role as Drake Ramore, but he thinks he's too high and mighty to audition, so he ends up not getting it in Mac and Cheese well. It doesn't go well. He loses that job because the show is canceled. Joey? Yeah? Do you think your favorite animal says a lot about you? <laughs> no, because goats can't talk. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey. Can you, uh, can you hang on a second? It's the producers over at Mac and Cheese, if oh. you'll excuse me for a minute. <laughs> hey, funny you should call. I was just looking over next week's script. Canceled? Like, they're taking it off the air? Oh. All right. I'll see you Monday. We're not even shooting them anymore? All right. Bye. They canceled mac and cheese. Oh, Joey. Sorry, Sorry, Joey. Why would they do that? It was a good show, right? <laughs> Terry. Joey Tribbiani. Surprised your big head could fit through our small halls. I gotta go, Joey. Wait, Terry, look where uh, look, I'm really sorry about before. I mean, I was an idiot thinking I'm too big to audition for you. You gotta give me another chance. I can't help you, Joey. Wait, Terry, please! <laughs> look, I just lost my other job, okay? You have no idea how much I need this. Please help me out. For old time's sake. 
This poor guy's been in a coma for five years. It's hopeless. It's not hopeless. Dr. Stryker Ramori's a miracle worker. Look, here he comes. Good morning. Drake, it's your brother Stryker. Can you hear me? And cut. I'm back, baby! <laughs> He then runs back for the role of Striker Amore, because that's his last chance. Instead, he gets the job of a on-life support doctor, Drake Amore. He eventually comes back to the show after getting Jessica's brain. I know this sounds like nonsense, but Jessica is Susan Sarandon's character on her guest appearance. There's one particular storyline for Joey that makes him seem like he has a future, but then it just ends. This is one of the time frames where Rachel lives with him. He sleeps with a girl and then he goes off to work and tells Rachel to give the woman leave. Instead of doing that, her and Preby stay talking to her all day, and when Joey gets home, she's still there. He agrees to go on a date with her, and from his perspective, it goes well. Morning. Hi. Oh, how was your date last night? Pretty good. Oh, good. All right, so we should go catch our movie. Well, now, what's the rush? I'd like to see the previews. The candy. <laughs> oh. Hey. Well, look who's here. Hey, hey. Joey. Erin. Hey, Rachel. Hi. Well, we were just about to take off and see a movie. Yeah. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, Phoebe. We forgot that party we have to go to. Oh, no. <laughs> What party? A birthday party. Oh, whose birthday party? Allison's birthday party. Oh. And how old is Allison? 32. I feel so terrible just ditching you like this. No, that's OK. Wait a minute. Why don't you guys do something? Yeah, look how that worked out. <laughs> If you want, you want to catch a movie? Yeah, know? sure, that'd be fun. All right, so I guess I'll talk to you guys after Allison's party. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that actually might go late. Yeah, I'll wait up. No. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi. So how was, how was your date? Oh, it was great. I mean, we walked all around the village. We, we went to this ice cream place, split a milkshake, 70-30, but still. <laughs> and guess what? I'm thinking of taking her upstate to one of those bed and breakfasts. Oh, really? She said she wants to go away with you? No, 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 no. It's a surprise. It's going to be tricky, though, because she said she's going to be pretty busy at work for a while. So. Oh, no, you said that? Yep. I'm um, Joey. But don't you think maybe it's kind of quick for you to, you know, be going away together on a trip? Not for me. No, I want, I want to spend as much time with her as I can. <laughs> OK, hey, Joey, we need to talk, OK? Um, I kind of got the feeling from her today that, uh, that she's not looking for a serious relationship. Where are you getting this? Well, she told me. <laughs> she said she's kind of a loner. Oh. Oh. Joey. No, on. hey, Rach, it's, it's, it's cool, you know. I'm a loner, too, right? <laughs> Hey, Joey, you know what? You are way too good for her. Yeah, and honey, I promise next time I will just say goodbye and tell him you are not looking for a relationship. No. No. Don't do that. Just... Next time, make sure she really likes me. Well, that too. <laughs> Joey? Yeah. Do you want some pancakes? Finally. <laughs> but then she tells Rachel and Phoebe that she's thinking it won't work. It won't work out. And they end up telling Joey and giving his hopes up. It would have been nice if it had worked out, but everything happens for a reason, I guess. So in the show, he gets a role in a big movie with Richard. No, not that Richard, this one. It's a World War II movie, and that is probably the second to last big plot he has. Rachel! Yes, yes, we're talking about Rachel. 
probably one of the most unpopular plot lines in Friends, if not the most. So Joy falls in love with Rachel after a fun night out and she doesn't reciprocate his feelings. For now. He tells her how he feels. So you were saying? I'm not quite sure. Okay, well, you had asked me how long we knew each other, and I said eight years, and then the um, waiter came over and cut his tip in half, <laughs> and um, now here we are. Yeah, here we are. Uh, I... <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with you. What? <laughs> I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I don't get it. <laughs> Are you, um, how did, um, win? Does it really matter? Wow, 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 it is hot in here. Okay, okay look, look, Rich, I, I know this is a lot, okay? You don't have to say anything. You do, uh, you take as much time as you need. So after this, things are awkward between them until... So, you, uh, have a big work problem? Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> yeah, it, it's not, you know, it's nothing. Oh, okay. So, uh, I think I'm gonna take off. Yeah. No, wait, wait, Joey, no, wait, it is. It's something. It's, it, it's, um, it's my boss. Yeah? Yeah, and, um, and my baby. Yeah? My boss wants to buy my baby. <laughs> what? Oh, my, oh, my God. I know, I told you, it's a really big problem. <laughs> He wants to buy your baby? Can you believe that? That's crazy. That's what I told him. Well, okay, how did this even happen? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. So Rachel lies to him in, or in order to get him to talk to her normally. So later on vacation, Rachel has a crush on Joey, and then they start dating for like one episode. Then Rachel crushes his balls, and that's it. <laughs> Friendship level. Of all the friends, Joey is probably the best one and the kindest. He has never really made a mistake and is always there for everyone. He keeps Monica and Chandler's secret of being together. He lets Rachel move in with him, not once but twice. He is the one who married Monica and Chandler and Phoebe and Mike. When he falls in love with Rachel, he never once thinks of himself and only worries how weird it would be for Ross, even though Ross kisses his girlfriend minutes after they break up on Ross's science trip. And Rachel doesn't care about anyone but herself. In this situation, when they go over to Ross's place and he's clearly freaked out, Joey stays with him all night to take care of him. He may seem dumb, but he knows when a friend needs him. End. Joey gets his own show after Friends ended, but that didn't last very long. I actually can't find anywhere to watch it. I'll keep looking, but if I can't find it before this video, I won't talk about it. So this is future me. I couldn't find it anywhere. Maybe I'll make a separate video on it if I just, for some reason, I don't know. But for now, this is it. So thank you all for watching. And as always, stay cool, stay weird, stay you. I'll see you guys later.